Hey, I'm here on the campus of Jackson State University with Associate Athletic Director Travis Jerome. Travis, you've got a team in here that is kind of hot, and I think things are moving in the right direction. Talk about this ball club. Yeah, you know, we were picked to finish third in the division, and we, we kind of welcomed it with open arms. Coach Taylor is, is all about being very quiet and very stealthy in the way we move. We knew how talented and deep we are. Um, it's just one of those things where we're really using what we have. We're getting guys back this week. We got some guys back last week, which was big in our win. So, Travis, you know you have a coach that bleeds blue here at Jackson State. Talk about uh, T.C. Taylor and what it means to him to be this head coach. And secondly, how does he instruct this football team? T.C. is Jackson through and through. I mean, there's not many places you go that you get a hometown guy to be your head coach of a, of a Division One football program. You played here. He's coached here. He, he bleeds blue. Um, but for him to be able to put everything he has behind it, I mean, he, he truly believes Jackson State and truly believes every day 24-7 in Jackson State and Jackson State football. And he'll tell you, being in that office it is not a luxury. There's pressures that come with it, but he enjoys it because of where he's at. Talk about some of the offensive guys here who are exciting early on in this season. Where do we start? Um, we've got a running back room that's deep. we got our Mulligan and J.D. Martin back this past week, Ahmad Miller and, and Travis Terrell. Filled the first two weeks, you got receivers. Deep in the receiver room, Isaiah Spencer's had, really had a breakout year. Marvin Landy at tight end, offensive line led by Evan Henry and Kirk Ford. You got two quarterbacks. I mean, how many FCS schools and how many FBS schools you know that have two quarterbacks that you can rotate in and out every drive and not really lose anything with Cam McCoy and Jacoby Moore? Yeah, and then you take that on the other side of the ball, defense that plays inspired, tough football up front, and got very, very good secondary. We do, and, and that's a lot that a lot of that has to do with the young coaches we have. I mean, you got Collie James, who's a young guy that just came over from Florida as a defensive line coach. Chris Orr at linebackers. Terenzo Quinn is a young defensive coordinator. But then you got guys like Jeremiah Williams on the line, Phillip Webb, Alan Walker. Joshua Nobles had a breakout game against Southern. Our linebackers was a big question with Ashton Taylor and Reed Pulliam. They've answered the call, and, and you can name nine guys in our defensive secondary. That's how deep we are. All good stuff. Hopefully we'll come back here. Hopefully we see you back, and hopefully see you back more than once. Thanks.